Now, what's interesting is, though, when you were talking, the lady who you're talking to, what is her role? She's like the site facilitator or something like that. She's so, so the site facilitator, what did she say about the contracting officer? Oh, she <laughs> says that she wanted me to do the line. I, the three here, if you guys see here, let me. No, I think you get to the, the weeds. No, no. no. Okay. She the says, problem, okay. The, the thing is like when the guy wrote the scope of work, he did line item one, line item two, line item three. She told me separate it because Huron, he's like, he's old now. So he's not going to change the scope of work for me. He's like, he says that's just too much paperwork and he's not going to do it. So let's do it his way, but let's do it our way too. And that way I could, let me see if I could try and explain it to him. So we actually revised this for her. And then at the end of the day, he's like, no, he's not going to change the scope of work because that requires too much paperwork. So what is that? What I'm saying to everyone out there is that that's, to me, it's an indicator that they don't care. You get me? Like, there's a disconnect. The guy who's doing a contract, he don't care about, like, I'm not changing this. This is what I wrote. You guys figure it out. And then Maria's in the background working with the person who actually wants to see the project done on how do we get it done with this contracting person not being cooperative yeah because getting to the least she wanted the main roads but he's like no he would do the back roads first he doesn't care because that's not the way he wrote his scope think about how insensitive that is for on his part this lady's like look i need this done because she's at that facility and the contract guy's like i don't want to change my paper i don't want to change the forms you know and this isn't a very it's it's a research facility for the usda so it's just basically grounds but this is in a very very high-end area in miami but again, so. regardless of whether it's high end, low end, but if, if, you know, the point is people are asking the question of about the government and the pricing and all this kind of stuff. That just goes to the fact that the person that's doing the actual con the contracting officer, the contract representative, they're not interested, <laughs> right, in trying to necessarily give you the best project. They're like, look, I did it this way. You guys figure out how to make this work. This is what you told me is a budget, mm -hmm. this is what I could spend. You work it out amongst you of how to make accomplish that goal. Yeah. And, 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 and like the contracting officer is very, like you said, they're very separate because of all my Coast Guard jobs that I've been doing, I've been dealing with engineer. And yesterday was the first time I spoke to my contracting officer after a year. All he did was sign my stuff. By the way, Maria, what did the lady, what did she say to you? When you first submit the bid, what the contracting officer did. You don't remember? What? No. They freaked out because your number? Oh, she calls me back because I submitted it. One, two, three. They wanted one, two, three. I did one, two, three, and four. That was the extra one. So she calls me. She's like, Maria? She's like, so I submitted your stuff, but here on, he's just having an anxiety attack. She's like, he's stressing out because he saw your number and da, da, da. So she's like, can you help me revise it so he, I'm able to explain it to him? She, and she kept saying, I'm so glad you know how to do this. I'm so glad you know how to get, work with me. Budget, and you had, you exceeded the budget, right? Yeah, we exceeded the budget. So we went back, we got on Zoom. We made a little map of what she wants done. We broke down the numbers exactly how, because she's like, break it down even further. I did all that for her so we could resubmit to him. Now, Maria, how do you get so lucky to find people that work with you like this? Everybody else says they have a hard time. <laughs> I smile very <right>? pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone else says contract officer don't call me, but you're not dealing with the contract officer, are you? No. I deal with the person that's in the facility because they're the ones that are going to want to get stuff done right and it's their project it's for them it's for they're the actual users of the project and they're the ones that are sitting around and saying hey let's make a deal and then she also said hey we're gonna get the budget for your the rest of that project next year right this this one they even the contracting officer he's like don't touch number two i'm like i ain't touching number two i'm like i'll wait right here now, the other thing is, how did you meet this lady? I went to a site visit. I responded to a source that sought to the contracting officer. A what? He, sought? A source that sought from this black guy on a video on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. I responded to a source of thought August 16th, and then a week later, I got the contracting officer sent me a thing that 
sends me the RFP with a scope of work with there's a site visit on this day. I was actually going on vacation that same week. And I was like, ah, I can't go on vacation. I'm like, I have to go. So I showed up. I was the only one there. Only one other person had signed up for that site visit. And she wrote in the scope, be here five minutes early. No late comers will be accepted. I was there early. And then she looked at the time. She's like, well, they have five more minutes. And then she goes at 2.30 on the dot. She's like, well, I'm not waiting for them. We could get started. So we were the only ones. We did the whole, like, the whole tour with her. She stopped. She talked to us. Like, at the end, she was like, we told her, like, it was under mine, but my sub is actually 8A. So I told her, we're going to bid it under his company because he's 8A, just in case you have to soul source it. So she's like, what do you guys do again? I'm like, we do construction. Like, I told her what we did. She's like, do you guys happen to do greenhouses? So we just started a conversation. So, and now this lady looked like she not the nicest. And by the end of the day, she... She gave me her cell phone number to call her and let me know when she submitted, when I submitted it and everything. So. And then on top of that, there was something that you guys did at the site visit, a line item that you added to the bid that no one else would have ever known that didn't go to the site visit. Mm-hmm. And I still got the <laughs> extra line item. <laughs> it's really hard to win when you don't know the folks because how do you compete against that? Like, Everyone else on this call that would have bid this would not have known about that edging of the grass because it's not anywhere written. And even if I would have gone by myself, I would have not known about that either because I have no idea about restriping, resealing, paving roads. And I took somebody that knows exactly what that is because he, like I had, like you guys, I have the personality I say like to talk to people and I understand the lingo and what to say and how to say it and stuff. But this guy had like, this is, and this patch, we're going to do this and you have to do this and that. Like he understood that job completely because that's what they do. So he had the technical side and then I had the business side. Hey, GovCon Giants family. This is Eric Coffey. I'd like to tell you about a new membership option that YouTube has created and that we here at GovCon Giants TV are taking advantage of. If you notice on our screen, you'll see a button that says join. When you click the join button, you'll see different options for people at different price levels, whatever suits your fancy. Now, I understand that everyone can't afford the $6.97 price for the course, and that's okay. So what we've done is we've taken and help curate a lot of our GovCon Giants community questions and answers, and we're putting them in these sections here on members only page within YouTube. So if you'd like more information on how to become a fan of the channel that you already know, like, and trust, click the join button now to find out about all of the different membership options. You can start off as a fan supporter and move your way all the way up to a GovCon insider. By the way, for all those who may be thinking, Eric, what about your regular content? I'm still gonna be pushing out and publishing regular content, but this is a different level where we're actually gonna be just grabbing the Q&A sections that we're doing and sharing them with everybody. Thank you so much for watching.